Okay guys, a um, little bit of improv there from a new chord that I've learned, so <laughs> um, so an old dog can be you know taught new tricks. Uh, this amp we're gonna show you for review today is the Orange Dark Terror and it is fucking awesome. Uh, I love it, absolutely love it, and um, it's uh, it's not really uh, the sort of thing I'd go for normally, it's, it hasn't got a lot of power for, potentially, but it actually has, you can gig with this thing. Um, so basically, the thing I like about it is the simplicity, it's got volume, gain, and a shape, which is essentially your, your treble and bass all blended in with the mid and everything. You've got an on-off switch, uh, a wattage for 15 watts or 7 watts, uh, and that's it. You've got an effects loop. Um, I think you can output to a cab, which is what we've got here. This is really tasty looking. And, and look, decent manufacturers know to put hard corners on their cabs. Metal ones at that. Absolutely, that's what you need. It's not going to crack, is it? It might uh, get dented. This looks but... absolutely fantastic. It looks got a real bit of heritage to it, because orange have been around for donkey's years. Um, you can get this with it in an orange colour. As well, no, it's, it's, white. White. it's the tiny white, terror, yeah. and it's white. It's got two less valves of tiny terror, right? This is the sort of <coughs> more darker, yeah, yeah version. darker version, which suits us perfectly. Um, so I'll just demonstrate the clean. So I had it on about number two or two and a half, something like that. The shape right in the middle, we're just keeping it dead, dead center. Uh, I'll just give you a quick demo of what the shape does. This is to be on the uh, the neck pickup, okay? So just play a chord. <laughs> So we put it far left. Sounds a bit boxy, a bit, a bit shite, but... A bit more fuller, and then we put it on full, so you can hear the, di the total. So far to the right? Yeah. That sort of scoops some of the mid out. So if you're playing live and you uh, want to go from clean to dirty, you may have to tweak uh, with your pickups and have the you know, have it on the gain. Unless you can suddenly turn around and just go wallop, you know, turn the gain up. But you will. I've worked out, which isn't too complicated, that you start banging the gain up, then the volume comes up. So you have to dial back the volume to keep the same level. So. Having said that, if you've only got to piss around with two knobs during the gig just to get some tone set. Pretty damn good. It hasn't got a booster switch or anything like that. It's very, very cut down. What cab is this? It's just a one by twelve orange. One by twelve. PPC one one two. I think is the part number. Yeah. But you can get that one in orange. So you probably well can carry that on your back. But the idea would be is you carry this in your guitar over your shoulder. You turn up to your gig and away you go. Uh, you can turn it down low for bedroom use. We'll do, do some gains. We'll, what we'll do? We'll leave it. Uh, We'll leave the volume down a bit, and then we'll do some uh, vol some gain tests. So we're going to give it a bit more oomph now. So this will be on the uh, the bridge pickup. <laughs>
So it can handle the, um, the heavier gain settings. Uh, I don't really think you want it to, I mean, if you drop the tuning, it's in standard tuning, normally I'm a couple of steps down, but uh, if, so you will get that really heavy crunch from it. And it goes really loud. Um, they tested it on another site and it went up to about 120 decibels, 119, 120 decibels, which is more than enough to keep up with the drum kit. Uh, and you'll get it mic'd out the PA, so a giga will add, no doubt about it. And uh, but I quite like it with the gain set down a bit lower. So you can get that sort of Lizzie esque sort of tone. So we turn, you, <coughs> you don't lose a lot of volume, but you lose a bit of the gain. Dull the volume up on the guitar a bit more. I'm trying to volume up a bit more, it will cock up our levels, but... Uh... It's got a real bite to it, a real lovely valve bite. Um, <coughs> it's, uh, it's old school, but not in... Uh, in a sort of mushy drive, fendery type drive. It's got a really nice uh, tone to it that um, is probably um, you know, uniquely orange, I don't know. It's not the same as a Marshall, um, so it doesn't go to extreme gain, but you know, I really like this amp, Neil. Absolutely, oh, this is, it, you get a lot of clarity with the tone. Um, that's what I like about it. And uh, what we need to know is how much does this kit cost? Because we've not oh, mentioned that. £499 is the package I got that for. And that's brand new. I think it was a company called Absolute Music on the internet. They were brilliant. Yeah. And the fact is, if you buy a combo, a decent valve combo would probably cost you about between three and four anyway. 400 quid. So Easily. You've got this beautiful little uh, 1x12 you can keep when you practice. And then this you can take with you when you gig. So about to have a cab that you can use, um, and it's just great, simple, perfectly uh, excellent tone, and uh, and it looks the bollocks really, if you ask me. That and out like that, that looks the that looks the nuts. That does. Look at that. I mean, we're a bit late to the whole kind of orange dark terror, tiny terror. Oh, they no. even do a micro terror now, tiny little micro terror, which is yeah. amazing no, considering. I wouldn't bother. I'm sure it's amazing, but this. this it's only a bedroom place, is it? Yeah, this that's, has got some bolts to it. I mean, the, the tiny terror has been out a long time. I think we just ignored yeah. them. Well, or well haven't, we haven't you know, ignored them. We just, just haven't done anything. Haven't got the money <laughs> just to get these things. So. Um, all I can say is I'm blown away by this. I really like it. I can see why they're, if they're if they're not really popular, they're going to be really popular. Um, and it saves lugging around all that stuff. And you know, without it hasn't got channel switching, all that fancy stuff. But if you if you can 
you know, playing that rocky, if you're not into death metal, I mean, in death metal, you'd probably, probably put it on one setting and just whack it up anyway, so, you know, there's not a lot of finesse in that, generally, so, um, love it, top amp, uh, worth every penny, if you ask me, and I would, I would, I'd probably, uh, you know, I'd seriously consider getting one of them, I think they're awesome, very good. Okay, right, so I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, subscribe if you like, like it, and, um, well, who knows what we've got next, so uh, I'm going to uh, just play it out.